Okay, so um, this would be uh, a rough interview and introduction on what happened in the last year and a little bit more even uh, in the past uh, in the Italian community. Now, uh, it will be a brief introduction about myself, just to give a, a brief idea of it. Uh, the state of the community, Italian Fedora community one year ago, and then uh, my initial uh, goals for, for the last year, and uh, what uh, problems we have encountered, and what is currently the, the state of the, the Italian community, and obviously my plans for at least the, the next year. Now, first of all, uh, I would like to point out that the Fedora online.it uh, that uh, we will uh, mention sometimes. It's actually the Italian Fedora community, official Fedora community. So, you know, uh, I sometimes use the Fedora online name, but it's just the same thing. So, a uh, brief introduction of myself. Uh, I'm a Fedora user on and off uh, since Fedora 11, and uh, I have been a consistent Fedora user since Fedora 19, and I'm now ambassador packager and I also am part of other communities, but not very active, at least not as active as I would like it to be. Now, uh, I'm also an administrator of Fedora Online since August 2015. Now, what happened in August 2015? What happened uh, was that actually uh, we had a very old infrastructure. The, the, the core part of it was pretty old and we were on a shared hosting, so kind of performance issue we, we faced. And uh, many user, many, many very active user of Fedora Online actually have left uh, recently. And even more, in August 2015, all uh, administrators stepped down. Uh, there was like this kind of, you know, uh, change of, uh, gener generational change and that happened about one year ago. So uh, in the general Fedora community there are a huge amount of Italians participating in it and this is great but the, the big part of it is that the, the majority of those people actually do not identify themselves in uh, you know Italian speaking groups so we actually have like four people in uh, G11M that have contributed in the last two or three release cycles. So pretty much no one, I would say. And uh, also since in uh, the Fedora 14 to Fedora 18 uh, kind of cycles, there were a huge amount of translators. We have a huge amount of pages and you know of strings translated, but the problem is that they have not been updated since that age. So we have a lot of stuff that is still you know Fedora 11, Fedora 12 guides that have not been updated that, uh, after that. So we have a, this huge amount of documents that should be updated because it has been translated in the first time in the first place, but we don't have any more the people to actually keep those content translated. So, uh, what were my goals one year ago? Um, in for in uh, Fedora Online, that is the Italian Fedora, official Fedora community, uh, update all the, the pieces, because we had very, very old stuff, so mm, it was not very safe uh, to keep that way. Uh, to move to a private slash virtual server, because we had performance issue, as we've seen before. and to keep at least the same number of users and posts because you know you don't want to, to lose even more people than you have already lost in the previous years and uh, to create a new administrative team because the previous one has just stepped down so we need that one and uh, also uh, I wanted to to have the inactive staff people to decay because uh, we actually had some staff people st uh, still around, but actually have not been uh, active for like four or five cycles. So the, the, the admins, the inactive admins, I think it's like not having admins. So uh, I think we should have had uh, a way to uh, let admin uh, to decay after, you know, 
couple of cycles that they don't perform any administrative actions. So uh, in the general Fedora community, my personal uh, goals were, first of all, create a list of Italian users, you know, just to know that they are there. So the, the main idea here was that if you have a list of Italian users, and by Italians I mean people in Italy, actually living in Italy, when you do some kind of event, you can actually invite those people to, to, come, on, to come in. Uh, I would say personally, in the sense that you send them an email or a message or whatever, instead of the more general, I write a page on, on the wiki and probably no one will write about it. And uh, also I am uh, advocating, uh, I was planning to advocate more heavily, but at least a little bit, on a simpler and more consistent G11 and tools, that is translation and localization tools, because the current state is not the best one, uh, I would say, and uh, also to reduce the number of pages that have been localized in the previous cycles but are not uh, updated anymore because we don't have enough people. Now, this is necessary because you, know, you don't want to have very old information out there and maybe people thinking that are updated while well, they are not and you know, it would not be nice. So, obviously, as usual, things are not straight. So, you have a plan, but the reality is a little bit different, I would say. So, in uh, Fedora Online, the, the first problem was that all the software we had, we had uh, a forum, a, a website, uh, a wiki, uh, a planet uh, mainly, so four pieces of software that actually were very hooked up together. So we had a, a, a huge amount also of custom code and uh, both were uh, hooking those pieces up because like, uh, we don't have a federated user but we have the same user across all the platforms and how it was implemented was implementing in each one of those software a piece of code to actually be able to share the password together. But the problem is that this piece of code is not a module or a plugin, but it was just a patch on the core of the, the product, so it makes update pretty much impossible to do. And uh, even more, the, the real problem is that the forum that is actually the, the base, uh, the database base of uh, the, the whole thing, is mainly written in PHP 4 and uh, it, it has some kind of hooks to work on PHP 5. PHP 4 has been deprecated three or four years ago now, so it's a very, very old uh, kind of coding infrastructure and even more, the real problem is that the upstream of the forum is dead. So we don't have any more updates. We have some patches, like security patches, uh, some of them has been developed inside, some of them outside the Fedora Online, but still they are not really upgrades. Uh, we have a huge amount of bugs and uh, uh, for instance uh, also the planet is that upstream, that too, that did not help. And uh, the, so uh, another problem we are now having with the forum is that all those PHP 4 and PHP 5 uh, cooking stuff uh, actually broke the email so we don't have the emails sent to the users when you know a, 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 a forum a thread is updated so we are kind of also losing uh, you know traction and that kind of stuff because engagement because people do not know when they are not notified when there are new new stuff yes I, I apologize I was like this is in specific reference to the Italian community's localized versions? Yes, because that's... Just what, to what, sure yeah. I walked in late, it's my own fault. No, no problem. Yeah, this is about the Italian one, but uh, I have spoken a lot with other localized communities and they have the same problems. Okay. So, you know, uh, because in the end, the, the, the Fedora pro uh, core project uh, has a very strong uh, infrastructure team and development team, so that's easier there. 
but all the local uh, communities are usually very small, as uh, mm, province uh, uh, said before, uh, he intervened in the MET uh, question and answer part, and he said that there were just 50 people translating Fedora 24, so it's like, in all the languages, total of 50 people, so it, it's kind of, of a general problem. And um, also, updating MediaWiki, it's a nightmare, uh, if you have a custom team. In fact, uh, I was speaking with Patrick, because you know, in the Fedora project, we also have MediaWiki, and I, I asked him, how do you upgrade with a custom team? And he said, we don't have a custom team, because we don't want to deal with custom team upgrading. Uh, so, yeah, probably not very wise to have a custom team if you want to upgrade. And also, very big problem out there, time is limited, you know, uh, and I am not paid to, to work on this, so I have to do it in my spare time, so obviously it's very, very limited. Also, in the general Fedora community, obviously Italian side, uh, we were speaking before about, you know, removing all the uh, translated stuff that is not anymore updated, but it's still removing content. And when you remove content, you usually end up with a huge flame in the main yes. list. So this is what happened, actually. And uh, we saw this, like, two days ago, actually, in the meeting on Friday. And, you know, after six months, probably, that we are talking about this, it's not so bad. Um, also, G11N seems to be a second-class citizen because, you know, packaging, it's a big thing. And also other groups like ambassadors are very, very active. G11N is, you know, a little bit second-class citizen. O or at least that's how it feels. Maybe it's not, but it still feels that way. And also, again, time is limited. So uh, the current state, um, it's, first of all, um, we are on a private machine with C Linux enabled. So all the security concerns are limited at least now. We don't still have all the software updated, but at least now if someone hacks our planet, it's only our planet that has security problems, not the rest of the website. That is not good, but at least it's better. And uh, MediaWiki has been updated. We, we managed to do it also with the, the custom team that was uh, a user uh, that uh, one of our users in the community actually uh, effort a lot of time to, to update uh, the team. And uh, also we are ready to move from Bibo Planet, that is the, the one that upstream, to the Venus Planet, which is also that upstream, but it's okay because it's a static site generator. So even if you know it's maybe not perfect, we still do not have any security problem. While the Bilbo Planet is a dynamic website, we have not yet been targeted by any uh, serious attack. This is good. Probably we are not good, uh, big enough. You know, the like Fedora project has been a major target of spam because Fedora project is big, but we are not that big, so that's good in this sense at least. Uh, also, the, the follow me mail now is completely broken. Uh, it, over, the, uh, over the months, every time it was like a little bit worse, now it's completely broken. So I, I'm going to work on this as soon as the, the planet part uh, is ended. But it, it will be probably, the, the only way will be to move to a different platform because the current one is dead upstream. So you know, you don't get any update. And um, the, the form migration tool, it's actually under QA. I'm testing it. Um, I have took some kind of script from the web and make it work for us. It's not yet perfect. We, we still, the, the main problem we have is that we have a few users that in the migration lose their name. That is kind of a problem, you know. Uh, but out of that, it, it seems to be very good. So we probably would be able to move uh, before the end of August or September maximum. And uh, also we have a couple of new moderators, which is good because, you know, 
uh, starting from zero or one me that I was new at that point was yeah and uh, also uh, a lot of parts of our infra infrastructure use Ansible which is also the standard for the Fedora project infrastructure we are trying to like copy the Fedora project uh, infrastructure team because I mean if it works for them it works for us and also it makes it easier for someone you know in one group to help in the other one and help each other uh, the, the two groups so in uh, this is a graph of the post the, the post is probably our main uh, matrix we can gather because it's easier to gather this is splitted by release we started actually at Fedora 3 so it's we have a huge amount of history and uh, as you can see we have had some releases uh, like from 10 I would say to 18 mainly uh, which we had a huge amount of activity and then a downward trend now I would say the very good part is that this is Fedora 23 is the first up peak from you know the, this general trend so I, I think we are doing something right here and this is good uh, we are still probably not good enough because if you look the up peak it's like you know the, the down peak here was huge the up peak here it's not so big but still it, it's a beginning of a trend so I see it in a, in a good way uh, and probably the fact of having new moderators that have brought new ideas new you know new ways to engage people because the point is uh, we can have the best technical solution ever but if we don't have any ideas you know to engage people we, we will not engage people and also uh, I, I am a little bit concerned about this data uh, about the accuracy of this data mainly because our form is mainly on support this is a fact uh, probably 90% of those posts are about support so one of the problems of Fedora uh, that I think we have is that Fedora is too good you know uh, in Fedora 10 I remember you had huge problems with the VGAs and monitors and whatever else now we don't have those problems so people do not reach uh, Fedora uh, Italian community but also the other communities because they don't have problems so if they don't have problems they don't engage well they don't reach us and if they don't reach us in the first place they don't engage so I think that as a general community and not only Italian and not only localized community so as a Fedora general community we should try to find different ways to engage with our, our users because we end up with like Windows users or Mac users they don't engage with the, the company uh, behind it you know they just are user but that is not the way we, we want to have users because we are a community so if they use Fedora but they are not part of the community you know we don't have any advantage I would say from you know the presence of these people so I think we should really try to to find new ways uh, in the Fedora Italian community we had a couple of uh, ideas uh, over the years one was uh, a magazine uh, that was actually uh, mainly done by Maiga and uh, it, it was like a PDF kind of magazine uh, so that you know you, you kind of have a different way to communicate to people it, it could work and um, also we had uh, for a few years uh, some kind of contest in the forum that was generating some kind of traffic and post and whatever but you know it it's still the same problem because you have a very small amount of people that have a lot of knowledge and then a huge amount of people that just come, uh, come by ask a question get an answer and disappear so I think we should try to find new ways to you know to, to share uh, new ways to engage people so um, uh, in the general Fedora community uh, we actually reached a consensus on what policy to keep to keep pages and not now we have partially copied the French 
community. The French community was pretty strict on this, was like, we do not want to have to translate any more wiki pages, so we delete them all. Uh, we are a little bit, our policy is a little bit more, uh, you know, loose, so we decided to keep between 20 and 30 pages, because that is the amount of pages that we expect to be able to, to manage. Now, we have at the moment about 300 pages, so it will be very long now to choose which 30 pages out, out of 300, but I think it will be, you know, a few months and we'll could be you, there. Could you give an example of some of the pages you're talking about? Uh, yeah. Um, what you would keep, right? Yeah, uh, well, what keep or what, yeah. Uh, I have actually a, a post, uh, a, a mailing list, message that I was uh, going to prepare uh, during the flight, my flight here. Uh, let's see if I can move it here. Okay, so for instance, this is my list personally, so it's really my point of view. Uh, pages that I would keep, uh, it's like the Anaconda. Uh, this is like a page where it describes how to do all the steps of Anaconda. So it's like a user page, uh, so it makes sense, I think, or like um, stuff about uh, documentation of the project, uh, the distribution, the design, um, well, uh, Fedora Live CDs, uh, how to make a CD or USB drives, uh, the foundations for uh, foundations, uh, F a little bit of FAQs, releases, roadmaps, so it's like okay. user uh, part. And then uh, those are the pages that, uh, well, we have some pages uh, that are actually in Italian for Italian users and are historical pages like uh, released party, uh, you know, Fedora 17 and 25, uh, 21 released party. So these are historical pages. We can keep them because, you know, they are not ongoing, up. they don't require ongoing maintenance. And, uh, and then we have a huge amount of pages that are actually in Italian, not translated, but just in Italian. And we probably will need to uh, rework those a little bit because I would say the majority of those are just old content, double content, and you know, probably we'll need to update those and uh, see a little bit about those. And, uh, and then we have uh, uh, those two pages that are actually in Italian, but are guides, so probably we should have those in English and then maybe translated, but you know, uh, keep them in English also, not only in Italian, because they are how to create uh, live CDs and live USB. You know, maybe there is already a page there, but we have to check if we have more material merge the two pages in English and then maybe translate those. But, you know, it does have no sense to have a different Italian way, you know. And then we have, uh, those are the pages that I, su I would suggest to delete and are by categories. I'm sorry that it's in Italian, the, my comment, because, you know, it would be sent in an mm. Italian mailing list, so it makes sense. But the idea is, like, all the amb ambassador stuff, it does not make any sense to translate because you want your ambassador to actually know English. If they don't know English, how can they will be able to engage with your you know, upstream community, with your Fedora uh, community? Uh, I mean, they will be maybe very good uh, going to people and speaking in Italian with them, but if they don't know anything about English, how can they you know, bring information from the Fedora project? You know? Uh, so I think all those ambassador pages can just be dropped. Bug zappers, it's like bug zappers are people that uh, take care of bugs. If they don't know English, how can they take care of bugs? Come on. Uh, and then, uh, well, we have few categories that probably we can drop. Um, also, uh, RPM packages, how to create RPM packages. If you actually do know, know English, how can you create an RPM package? because also there is a huge process to create packages and it is like a confrontation process with other people in the community as, and it's done in English. So it's like pointless to translate those kind of thing, I think. And uh, also translation. We have translation, translated documentation for translating stuff. Now, I would say that if you are translating stuff, 
you should know English at least, you know. So you probably don't need an Italian version of how to translate English content, you know. And infra, same thing. It's like, uh, yeah, it's okay to translate stuff, but if you are kind of in the infrastructure side, you should, you should know English because, you know. And then uh, we have uh, a bunch of stuff about helping in FESCO or contribu to, uh, contributing, that kind of stuff still. If you are going to contribute in the Fedora project, uh, you know, core Fedora project, uh, you need to know English. So I think those pages are not very useful. Then uh, uh, test cases, same thing. If you are performing a test case, the goal is find bugs and then open bugs on Bugzilla. If you don't know any English, you will have problems opening bugs and you know dealing with uh, the, 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 the people in the other side saying, okay, what exactly is the bug? Can we uh, repeat those and that kind of stuff? And then very advanced topic like virtualization, uh, um, ARM architecture, that kind of stuff. I would say the majority of people do trying to do that kind of stuff knows English because you know virtualization is pretty advanced topic. Usually you are a sysadmin, and if you are a sysadmin and do not all know English, you are not uh, very well placed. Also because in the late 90s, beginning of 2000, we had a huge amount of books that were actually translated in Italian, you know, uh, hand, uh, system administrator books. But in the last few years, not even uh, the, the big uh, uh, corporation like Rai or um, Apple or whatever, uh, they don't even uh, translate anymore. They, they just import the, the English version and sell those. Because, I mean, Italy is only 50 million people, and uh, Italian, people speaking Italian, it's like 50 million people. Uh, you don't, I mean, like Spanish, you have a lot of Spanish speaker out of Spain. So that may have sense for them to... Actually, there are more Spanish speakers outside, outside Spain, Spain than inside. Than inside. Yeah, yeah, because you have all the South America and that mm -hmm. is, yeah. But in Italy, it's not like that. It's, it's like only Italians in Italy speak Italy, in Italian. So uh, it's a very, very small uh, sector. So, And then we have a, a bunch of pages that are actually to be ar archived because it's like Fedora 12, 13 kind of stuff. So that's mainly the criteria I'm using. It's like if it's uh, something that you need, uh, uh, some, some pages that you need to contribute to the Fedora project and your contribution will be in English, it's going to, to, to translate the process. The starting point. Yeah. Yes? Can I ask about a nuance of that which would be could this community help determine if an English language page should be simplified in some way? Because yes. a lot of the writers of the English language material are native speakers yes. of English, and they may reach for idioms or specific adjectives yep. and adverbs that don't work well across yes. second language uh, We have had uh, this, uh, this kind of uh, debate uh, in our huge debate about keeping on deleting stuff. And uh, the, the general idea is that a lot of pages as are already written in a pretty plain English, I would say. Uh, some of them are not. And the idea is to help, you know, making it more plain. Because I would not say simplified English, but at least plain English, not some, you know, idioms or kind of stuff. Because uh, it's kind of a problem for non-native English speaker because we learn English in schools right. and in schools they do not teach you idioms. Right. So it's kind of a problem. And uh, a lot of people, at least in Italy, have scholastic English uh, because they have never used English outside school. So at least we should keep, I think, uh, I would say B1, B2 level. Uh, kind of thing. Uh, it's Cambridge levels, but still, uh, it's simply not very weird uh, phrases, not very weird constructions, and not very weird idioms. Yeah. Yeah, the, the other challenge that I have is that um, I, I live in a non English speaking community, and a lot of English speakers use specific definitions of words that are not in English. 
Yeah. And in some cases, it's the last or archaic <laughs> Yeah. in American English. Yeah. So point those things out because the majority of contributors write in an American English yeah. style. The, the, the problem, I would say, in the, in the wiki pages is that wiki is like a power list, you know? Everyone can go there, create a wiki page or edit a wiki page or whatever, and, you know, it's as official as all the other wiki pages there. And so it's like, you know, it, it's probably something that it's to be dealt with a technical from a technical perspective, it's like probably Media Wiki is not the best tool for that kind of job, I think. But we will fe we'll see in the next few years if something changed from that side, at least. And uh, also, we have uh, actually a huge amount. Uh, the there was in the list. If you uh, if you look, there is already a huge amount of pages that are already archived, and. Uh, we have something like a couple hundred pages that have already been archived because old stuff, you know, you want to archive those. Uh, so something has already been done. And uh, so my plans for next year from Fedora online, so Italian Fedora community, uh, first of all, replace MediaWiki because updating MediaWiki is a nightmare and you got an update every month. And since MediaWiki is the same software that is used by the Wikimedia Foundation for all the Wikipedias, there are a huge amount of people trying to look for security vulnerabilities in those softwares. And you don't want to have a old MediaWiki around. Uh, Migrate the forum to SMF, which is a simple machine forum, a different platform, uh, way more stable, way more secure, way more updated. So, uh, good choice, I would say. Um, and then add some more people to the stuff. We are actually three people active in the stuff. I would like to see five to six people because, you know. Um, and then solve the bus problem. You know, the what happens if I'm hit by a bus? I'm the only administrator. I am the only one with the keys of the server. What happens if I am uh, hit by a bus? Well, the, uh, the Fedora Italian community will die in uh, one month because yes. you know the the pay uh, the survey is paid monthly. So, uh, but uh, I think we should solve this problem with the second administrator maybe. Yeah. Uh, but and you know with big communities you don't have this problem in the Fedora general community. Uh, if someone in the infra team has some kind of personal issue and has to go outside the Fedora project, it's okay. We have plenty of those people, so it's okay. But in small communities, kind of a big problem. And I know that uh, there is at least a couple of localized communities that disappear from the web, you know, overnight, just because their administrator did not pay the, yeah, the yeah, following yeah, month of that. servers. So it, it's kind of a big problem, I think. And uh, in the general Fedora community, push for more, uh, you know, we have the, this thing where every single community, localized community, has its own rules, its own uh, best practice, its own everything. Maybe we should share those a little bit more. It's like, this is also the intent of my talk, it's like, try to, uh, let's try to, to speak with each other and say, we are doing this, what you are doing, you know, let's try to, to find a way to communicate more so that we have more, you know, uh, consensus there. Uh, also, simple, simpler uh, G11N uh, tools. Uh, we uh, actually have some kind of meeting on Friday, and I told them, uh, guys, I will be in, on Flock next week. So uh, if someone has some kind of you know, uh, complaints or uh, would see some kind of feature on uh, uh, GDM and tools, please tell me so that I can report to you know, people that are actually developing those tools. And I have had a huge amount of, you know, points there. So people are not very happy probably with the actual tools and also the fact that, for instance, the wiki do not actually use Zanata. We don't use Zan Zanata for everything. We have since some stuff on trans effects. It's like a little bit of a mess there. So maybe if we would be able to simplify things, uh,
people will be happier. Also because uh, I, I, I try to I register in Zanata at DevConf this year. And uh, I actually had to do it in two days and with Patrick help in between because I was not able to you know, register to Zanata properly on the first time. And I am actually, I think, a pretty savvy user. It's like, if I have some problems there, what will be, you know, the average standard user or even a low skill, u a low IT skills user? It's like, probably we need simpler tools and with simpler uh, GUIs, you know, more straightforward stuff. And then, uh, as I said before, more standardized best practices among different, uh, different teams. Because it's true that we have different problems. You know, German people are huge teams. Uh, we are not so big. There are uh, teams that are even smaller than us. So obviously, we have kind of different problems. But we still have the same goal. So if we have the same goal, I think we should be able to find you know best practices that fits all of them or uh, all of us or at least partially so this is my review of the last year if anyone has some questions that has not been asked uh, before yeah i don't want to that up. no but um, go for it we have time so if Infrastructure, and I'm not making any promises on infrastructure's part. I'm not saying this is ever going to happen. This is my particular delusional view of the world. If infrastructure were capable of providing, say, a forum, a wiki, a hyperkitty install, that you could then either run the localization that is provided by that upstream or help work with that upstream to get a localization to do a so that you, in essence, didn't have to do as much of the info work, but you did the admin work. Is that something that you feel like the Italian community would be responsive to? Or is the act of doing the info an integral part of being in that community? Well, um, I would say the Italian community would be happy. Uh, but, uh, well, I, I'm speaking, uh, I have like an ongoing conversation with uh, Patrick about this, because, I mean, it, in one hand, uh, the, the infra team does not want to have an overload of different platforms, different stuff, and I, I obviously see their point. And on the other hand, we need something different from what Fedora has, because like Fedora does not have a forum anymore. Uh, we move to ask for, no, and, and for instance. Is that yeah, you know, there but needs to be the right software. Provided, exactly. But if, if in essence we could Yes, it would be perfect. You guys, the French, the Greeks, the whomever, everybody got the same yes. pieces. And we made that that pieces. would be perfect. That okay. It's also my perfect uh, perspective, but I think we are pretty far from there. Uh, because, uh, first of all, uh, I was speaking about, with Patrick about Ask, specifically Ask. And uh, there are some uh, translated versions of Ask, but if you look at those, they are not really translated. They, they are like half big kind of solution because the the way we are doing it now is we have one installation of Ask and then uh, when you go to a different localized version uh, you have a different template and that is why you have different uh, you know strings there and you have a different query in the database that will only query in theory your language now the query is probably not perfect or Ask is not perfect or somewhere in between, so you don't actually get consistent results, I would say. Uh, so, yeah, that is one thing that we are working on. And also, as a Fedora online, uh, so Italian Fedora community, we have a problem, that is, we study in Fedora 3. So we kind of have a very strong name, at least in the Italian community. So it, for us, it's okay to be more closer to the infra and uh, general Fedora project, but we still want to have a little bit of uh, naming there, uh, you know, consistent names or uh, consistent domain names, that kind of stuff, because, you know, we are known locally with that name. Right. So I, would say I don't want to rabbit hole on implementation, but what I'm hearing is it would need to be something that the community 
that it's the Italian community could still brand for themselves yeah, and I, could still say our region really prefers wikis instead of ask or yeah. you know, emails instead of forums. Yeah. And so that it's not you must take these three pieces and use yeah, these brands. Exactly. Because I mean obviously from a, an infrastructure point of view this means what work. And but I think that a, a, a good deal would be like uh, I am actually the only, well, we have one and a half people uh, working on uh, the Italian infra, and we are okay joining the infra team. So it would be, yeah, you have a little bit more work, but also one and a half person more. So it's, right. uh, it could be some kind of deal this way. We are trying to, you know, to, to find a deal with, with, with them too, so that it, it works nicely. Uh, but, and also, here, I think that uh, from the other localized community should be, you know, some kind of reach there. Sure. Because if it's just the Italian one, okay, we are 1.5 people. But if it's like maybe the French one, the German one, and other communities as well, you know, it maybe be enough people to have this whole infrastructure up and running and working. I have another question as well, but I, please, yeah. I don't want to when you say that there are uh, a very little group of power users and uh, a lot of um, just people who make a question and disappear, yep. uh, maybe attracting users uh, that, um, uh, I don't know, the, the, maybe they use uh, the computer for designing or, 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 or doing well yeah. uh, jobs, that kind of things. Uh, maybe they won't just, uh, oh, my driver is not working. Ah, thank you. Uh, my, yeah. uh, uh, I mean, uh, something uh, in the middle, not uh, in the middle between the just user. Uh, and yeah, the power user. Yeah. Be, uh, well, uh, I would say that if we are able to integrate more with uh, the, uh, the, the Fedora infrastructure, this will arrive because, as I said in the beginning, we have a huge amount of Italian people, uh, Italian speakers, actually working on the Fedora project, but not in the Italian side, I would say, but just in general one. So if we are able to, you know, get closer to them, being more integrated with FAST, for instance, the Fedora uh, account system, and other stuff like that, probably it will be easier also to, you know, to, to get some of those people to also help out a little bit here and there, you know. And some of uh, people in marketing and uh, websites and uh, packaging and so forth are actually Italian. But we don't, we never see those in the Italian side of the, uh, the project, so in uh, the IOC or forum or whatever. Could it happen that they don't know the uh, uh, forum? Uh, uh, I think they know. Uh, they this know, is, this they is my uh, perspective. I think they know, but th they prefer to, to stay in the international side of it. Yes? So, um, now I have two questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> first, just, do you, have a, you may have had this in your first slide, and I apologize for being late. Um, is there a rough estimate of the size of the community? The Italian one? Uh, we have a, a, an estimate in post. Uh, I saw your post slide. Yeah. I, was, I wanted to ask about five thousand. I didn't know if you knew how many people that was, even if it's transients flowing through. Like, how uh, large is that? that well, uh, we have um, uh, on uh, our forum, uh, there is a little bit of statistics in uh, the Okay, uh, in the end it's 8,300 8, users, but this is the total That's amount, you know, because right. they, they created 235,000, right, so you, you know. some of the people who, after Fedora 10, you've maybe never seen it. Yeah, exactly. So my, my second question was, um, does this community roll up through ambassadors for conversations successfully with Fedora Council and Core, or does this community not feel like it's got a great path to get into conversations centrally? Well, I'm uh, just curious. Yeah. Um, 
now this is kind of you know weird situation because in Italy we have 19 I think or 18 or 19 ambassador actually written in the, the the wiki now the active one are like three people I am one uh, he's one and uh, there is another guy uh, that is actually active in this project so it's like and all the others are disappeared so all the people that could be there to, to bridge out are there uh, but you know we are still a very small so in practice it could work yeah today there are challenges exactly okay. exactly perfect thank you thank you